Ok, um, in the eyes of the public as well as Wikipedians, one of the basic properties of Wikipedia seems to be that it is apolitical. In the discussions on the blackout on English Wikipedia, for example, I personally was quite astonished when I saw that there was someone who actually claimed I thought it was I th initially thought it was a joke and a good one I claimed that the superiors have been established by God to rule over the inferiors and it is not our part as well the dirty lowly masses uh, to fight or criticize the order determined by our high ups well uh, the strength of the belief in our non or uh, politicality varies, of course, but there are very few people who openly say that it is wrong and that Wikipedia cannot and uh, shouldn't even try to be apolitical. In the meanwhile, the influence of the issues of internet regulations, data protection and copyright on Wikipedia is enormous. This much has also been accepted by WMF when establishing these five common themes policy. Thus, uh, Wikipedians in many countries are involved in efforts to influence their societies to avoid establishing new laws that would be harmful for Wikipedia or to ab abolish old rules that inhibit our work. Indeed. The best example would be the Freedom of Panorama. Right now, there are ongoing campaigns for it, for example, in Estonia, Ukraine, and even South Africa. Uh, Martin, Sch oh yes, he's outside there, uh, has uh, tried to run one in Latvia, but it is actually quite hard to do one uh, without even a weak support of an organization. And Latvians do not have an organization right now. Uh, sometimes even that does not suffice, as was shown by the recent failure in France, where Wikipedians tried to do a campaign, but, well, it practically had no result. Uh, yet sometimes we also get lucky, as we have seen, for example, in Russia and in Armenia. Uh, so, uh, and Dimi is making a huge effort in Brussels, but, well, that's completely another story, and we shall hear about it quite soon. Thus, we have a lot of quite vari variable experience, yet it is very fragmented. Uh, there is little cooperation, um, especially between the states where the freedom of panorama have different modes and therefore different problems. It might be easy to infer from all this that we need more co cooperation, establishing a platform to exchange our practical experiences, ask for an actual support, from the WMF, but there are bots. We all have different experiences in cooperating with the WMF in these matters. Uh, there are different reasons, of course, uh, why it uh, doesn't always go smoothly. The Foundation's uh, location in the United States means that uh, there are rules and limitations set by the American legal system that most of us actually don't know I mean, if we see that uh, the WMF is kind of trying to avoid something, then we actually are not always sure whether it comes from their attitude or their rules or, well, who knows. Uh, and they tend to focus on local American problems, well, limited resources and all that. But um, still, uh, we all have to admit that in these matters, once you've started by saying A, uh, quite soon, B and C are following. In Estonia, we started with the freedom of panorama because we have a very practical problem with it. There is a non-commercial freedom, strictly taken, uh, which strictly taken would allow Wikipedia to use the pictures of public art, but no commercial reuse, forbidding the uploads to commons. Due to a community vote, we have an exception for usage on Estonian Wikipedia only. But this means we have to constantly explain that what, what that yes, but means. Take down the pictures uh, uh, by uh, 
pictures, well meaning strangers, have uploaded the comments and uh, explain the takedown even to the winners of photo contests, which is very tiresome and embarrassing indeed. Yet when you start with one issue in copyright, you soon notice another that nobody is talking about. Or a journalist who is writing about it but confuses it with something else, or omits the actual point of its potential influence. Or a museum which has a mm, copy-tight practice. Uh, or a state database of cultural heritage that has its copyright scale set to lunacy. <laughs> uh, actually, we have a huge database built by the state, uh, which uh, by default uh, says that everything is in public domain. Sounds nice, but not really. Uh, sooner or later, you have to speak up or keep the silence forever, because there is nobody else but you to do it. Uh, in a small country, and we all have quite varied definitions of small here, uh, the Wikimedia movement can very well be the only organized force with the competence and motivation to recognize the problems and fight for the digital rights that define the internet we all live and breathe. In Estonia, we waited for half a year before writing and publishing a 30-page analysis on the currently planned European copyright reform, because when nobody cares enough to analyze a complex issue with a lot of technicalities, it is not really attractive for the journalists, it is not something you win elections uh, by as a politician, well, it finally turns into a chicken game. Somebody has to lose their nerves before we going to crash. And uh, if you do not do it, then who? And so it begins. Your downfall on a slippery slope. Run, forest, run. <laughs> <laughs> if you consider the current issues with the potential for a big disaster, <laughs> then in the European Union we have the question of a mandatory upload filters, new restrictions on text and data mining, the proposed copyright on raw data, of course, uh, adding the potential link tax. And yeah. in many countries, we have to fight with censorship in different ways and pretexts from child protection to anti-terrorism. And there is a campaign for import of uh, fair use concept to Astro Australia. And here, we cannot escape the question whether we are ever going to draw a line we shouldn't uh, cross. We shouldn't cross. Uh, shall we ever stop with all this? especially in a time when every legal issue is easily politicized and each effort of activism meets resistance not only outside but also inside of our own movement. For each Wikipedian working on a legal problem there are at least two thinking that they really shouldn't do it and a hundred if not a thousand of those who, excuse my French, wouldn't give a merde. Thus, can we draw, even with a white brush, a picture of the issues with which the uh, Wikimedia movement and Wikipedians in particular should concern themselves and those we should keep in distance? Mm -hmm. Are some activities permissible for Wikipedians, but contraindicated for the chapters? Public campaigns in, me in the media, organizing roundtables, publishing books or some other informational materials? political lobbying, <coughs> and how should or could all this be financed? We do not have a general agreement in these matters, nor do we have a common clear understanding. Globally, they might be hard to reach. Too diverse are our situations, too different the attitudes in our communities. But uh, should we pick a single region with an extensive experience of good and strong cooperation where understanding each other would be easier and legal environment not so motley, uh, then it might be possible to reach an agreement. We could do it in the CEE if we want to. We have common problems like the incoming copyright reform in the EU which is going to strike us all and uh, even when uh, Several of us are, from the, are coming from the countries that are not in the EU. Actually, um, 
if something uh, large changes in the EU, it is going to have influence outside sooner or later. So um, we could meet these problems together, not separately. And right now we are in the process of starting a cooperation between Wikipedians of, uh, in, in three countries, Estonia, Ukraine and South Africa. We are trying to develop a model for the exchange of our practical experiences in campaigning for the freedom of panorama. Uh, in a perspective for uh, proceeding into other related issues. The tentative name for our enterprise would be Wiki Loves Copyright. <laughs> Time will show what the results will be. But we could also have such cooperation in our currency format, if we deem it necessary. So here and now, we shall throw that thought into the air and see whether anyone will catch it. Oh, by the way, uh, we already have chosen a mascot for the Wikilove's copyright potential user group. It will be a little uh, green, wonderfully cuddly and nice uh, Cthulhu, the ancient monster, because, well, he actually looks cute besides the copyright. <laughs> and handmade and uh, under free license, of course. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so. Questions? Questions, tomatoes, <laughs> anything? No, I didn't take them. <coughs> Sorry. Forgot. Okay. How, how does the cooperation with South Africa work? Um, like, basically, we exchange thinking, campaign ideas? Or uh, what is the idea? Yeah, we are thinking about mailing lists and maybe publishing some tips and, and uh, other things also on Meta. But uh, there are things that uh, are not meant to be so very well, public. This is the, the issue where uh, actually we have to think about uh, what kind of solution would be the best because on one hand uh, we want to publish some results but on the other hand of course if you are talking about political strategy and tactics and uh, how to get uh, results from somebody who does not want to give these and so on well, you cannot be very open always with everything, especially if you are uh, trying to talk frankly about, well, hot issues. So some things have to be kept close and, and some can come into the open. And we are uh, just now trying to find the formats that would be most practical. I mean, we have a lot of experience with whom to talk, which arguments to use, what might work, where we can uh, see for example, a possibility to uh, drive, so to say, drive a wedge between uh, the authors and the collection societies because they actually have different interests in some points. And nobody talks about that. We can use that when we talk to them directly. But, uh, yeah, these are, these are all these, uh, different, uh, these uh, experiences that can potentially be used in very different countries. And that would be useful, I think. Yeah, Ukrainians can um, talk about uh, trying to keep things uh, close, not so public, because we, uh, uh, so we developed and published our first draft of the laws that we were going to use uh, to go to the parliament and suggest uh, about freedom of drama on our wiki. And some uh, MP just took it and registered it without us having a proper consultation with lawyers. Like so, and now we have a problem because uh, it's actually not perfect, and we don't know how to take it back. <laughs> so yeah, and also it's um, about sharing knowledge. Every time somebody new joins uh, us in talking about the uh, field of panorama. I had to look up where was the discussion about court cases that we had. Like so, we, we really need a common platform where right? we can exchange ideas and archive them. Yeah. Yeah. Currently, we we don't have any place where all these experiences would be gathered. It's, it's all scattered around meta and exactly. pages and nobody can find it. <laughs> yes, and if we start small and try to find uh, the work formats that work, then we can expand and get the others on board and so on and so on.
Okay. Okay. No tomatoes. Okay.